Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. All right, you know what I'm saying? Did. Yeah. So give me, give me uh, the uh, the the two chain story because you mentioned him a while ago. Two I'm getting chain. all these stories like how you link because two chain to me, the old two chains a little different than the new well, two, this chain. Wasn't two me, chain. Me and the two chain right there. That's when the you see I this had that I had that, that true on right there. I had a damn true on over there. I was cock out a little bit and he stopped. We were like, man, he was like, man, we got to take a picture because I had paid like by seven. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I had yeah, paid for yeah. that. I had I had I was selling it in my store. I've been here 15 years. We actually had about four stores at that time. Mm -hmm. I was killing, but I had the brand, nigga. I had the damn account. I was wearing True because I was selling True, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, no, nah, you so, killed me. So he basically said, like, man, we got to take a picture because, nigga, you wearing that True. He had the album out during that time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I had that nigga. He was like, he was crunk when he seen me because I was coming with that real. Yeah, you know what I'm nah, saying. So yeah. how did you guys link up? Uh, I link with Titty. Titty boy. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I, what's that other little nigga? I was with him the other week. Remember when we was in Atlanta? That little black nigga with the bald head came in, Somebody and he was with his partner. Yeah. What's that nigga name? The little sharp bald dollar, head dollar, nigga. Dollar. That's him. Yeah, I was dollar. with the nigga. I, mean, I try and get the nigga on the mic. He wouldn't do nothing because, man, I don't know. For dollar, man, I feel like two chains blew up so much that he kind of like can't figure it out. That's just my opinion, nigga. I ain't no industry nigga. I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he just kind of. Can figure out how to fit. He like I'm like nigga, you dope. I'm I'm that nigga gonna tell you, nigga. You need to get on this mic because everybody looking for you. Now where you been? And I'm like that. And he was like, Nah, I can't do it. But I do it next time. You know, I nigga gonna brush it off. So I I, I did other artists that mm -hmm. day, but just being in the room with him and bringing that whole era back to my head. But the, the duffel bag boy and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them yeah. niggas was really fly at that I time really too. I don't know how I just really got with t uh, two chain. I mean, I really know. That I know that like all right, I used to my partner booked him to come oh, to Arkansas. Y'all niggas had that money, man. Yeah, so he oh, oh y'all knew how to deal with that money. Yeah, so he came to Arkansas, got him to come. And you know when niggas come, they they fucking with me. Yeah. So yeah. So it was like that. It was kind of a situation like that. No, uh good. just the fact that you basically, you know, got to meet all these different people. Who was the most extraordinary person that you met? That basically, you know, you you seen their potential and they ended up where you thought they was gonna be. I mean, all of them. But now I just sprung up that went and you you didn't you you know it just happened fast and you're like, damn, that nigga went all the mm -hmm. way. You could see it from day one. Yeah, I always pick the ones, man. Yeah, I'm bringing in everybody now. We for the talk. Oh, yeah. yeah, I always pick the ones though, bro. You did, like, yeah. Like it don't matter who I right Like I picked the ones, so like. They all was dope. Yeah, they all made it, made it big. They all gonna wow. make it big. They still making it big. Like this shit ain't stopped. Yeah, man. So, hey, man. And what's your name again? I gotta get it right. Gooby. Gooby is in the building, man. Bobo Luciano done stepped in, man. Yes, Bobo Luciano is one of them. One of them guys. If, if you don't know him, it, this was yeah. Pimp C best friend. Yeah. One of the one of them ones, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. So we come with with just just trying to set out how this. You know, we stick our chest out, nigga. We we real men having real conversation <laughs> around nah, this thing. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So man, I like to just push the narrative, man, because so many people like to hear the engagement between multiple people, because it sometimes stuff comes out. Yeah. That that it wouldn't normally come out and you got that radio background too you, yes, you love being behind that dang mic I, I used to yeah I love it, <laughs> I love it. yeah so man so uh man when, when he was telling the story about Boosie I know Pimp C uh dealt with with, with those yes. guys that he was talking about yeah, yeah. and you guys had ongoing conversations all the time uh not about specifically that but yeah. you knew he was down there in, in Baton mm -hmm, Rouge mm -hmm. or, or or just dealing with those guys what kind of memories came back when we was having these conversations Man, I was just, I wasn't thinking about the memory. I was just listening to the man's story. Yeah, yeah it's dope, was, man. He's got a good story. Man, he dope. He That's dope. A, people always ask, you know, how do certain people get in certain situations? And I heard him say, nothing but God. Yeah, yeah. Cause that's how my life was. People yeah. always ask me, how did I get here? How did I get here? How did I get here? I'm, I was just living my life. Yeah, that's you it. Know what I mean? just lived my life. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, 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 I, and I was, I, I kind of had already knew that, I just need to, all right, look, I had a saying when I was in Atlanta. I used to say this, that I had to, all right, look, Pete, this is true, all right, Pete. I'm listening to I you. I went to this video shoot. My mama was in Atlanta at this time, and she she's still there. She stayed there. But she she gave me a, 
She gave me a ride. I needed a ride to this video shoot. It's Soldier Boy, it's Gucci Man, it's Shawty Low. I go to the video shoot, and I don't know nobody. You know what I'm saying? Only person I know at this time is Waka Flocka, and I know Frenchie. Okay. I, I done met Gucci a couple times, but I wouldn't say we tight at that time. All right? I go to the video shoot, and shit, I had... I, ain't, I, I didn't do everything that I needed to do. Put it like that. Okay. I'm going to just cut the short story short. I ended up getting back to to the, to the my uh, mama, around my mama, right? And I told her, I'm like, damn, I should have I should have um, told Gucci to do this. You know what I'm saying? I had paid a cameraman to pull up and all this. Oh. She was like, all right. She said, nigga, you could be a shoulda, coulda, woulda, all you want a nigga. Because, you know, my mama got her. That's her yeah, name, yeah. mama got her. She's like, she like, all right, nigga, you go around, nigga. Nigga, I took you all the way out there, nigga. You, you should have, nigga, why you ain't do your shit type yeah, shit? Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, mama. I'm no. like, damn. Like, so I said, all right. I, that shit, that's like one of the moments, too. Like, yeah. that's one of the ones that hit me. And I'm like, all right, she right. It'll never happen again. It'll never happen again. Yeah, so yeah. so when I get back to my saying was when I was in Atlanta, I had I used to say to myself, like, so say like if I see somebody like Rocco or something, right? And me and Rocco tight, you know what I mean? But say I see somebody like Rocco at that time, and I'm young, I'm 21 or something, but I'd be like, I'm sitting down smoking, chilling or whatever, but I'd say, hey, man, quit playing with yourself. You from Little Rock. You a gangster, you a blood, you just a street nigga. Man, you don't see these type niggas, go holler, bro. Yeah. I got to check myself and tell myself that. Yeah. And I go holler at them. This ain't, it was never no groupy shit, no nothing, because at the same time, I'm a gangster. So I'm saying it just more or less like, let me holler at niggas just to see what niggas on. Like, what's up, bro? What you on? What you doing? I see what you doing. Like, need to get your number, nigga. I uh, pull up, whatever. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. That's how it happens. Because I had to tell myself that because in my in my city in Little Rock, I'm on. I'm not seeing niggas. Niggas is not out. Yeah. So I had to check myself. Like, if I'm gonna be here, go on fuck with people. No, that's dope. You baby. feel me? That's so that. that was more or less like. You know, reaching out. I like, know the feeling you had. It was like, you know. He was there being a gangster. He had to come out that gangster closet. Had to. Yeah, I know what you I know that feeling. Had to. Yeah. yeah. You had yeah, you, you know. gotta open up and go and fuck with people. It took a long time for me to do that too, E. Yeah, it took oh, a while. Oh my God. Yeah, because I'd be around people just in the cut. Yep. Just sitting there. Yep. Long time. And I, I know that feeling. I can relate. And to then when and then when you leave, you like, damn, I should have fucked with bro a little stronger. Yeah, that, that is, <laughs> hey, that is Drake. Damn, I'm tripping. Yep. Yeah. What was the situation? You know like that that you like, like, come on, Robin. You know how many people I've been around? I'm like, give me an instance. Shit. But, I mean, I can tell you about just one not too long ago because it can it can always happen at any time. Yeah. I mean, just at the rodeo. Okay. Been around Jay Prince. Yeah. I'm talking. I'm hollering at everybody. 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 I get around Jay Prince. They, DJ Bird called. Uh, he saw Jay Prince, and Jay Prince saw DJ Bird. They lock eyes, and he shoots straight over there to Bird. Me and Bird standing right next to each other. And I'm like, "You ain't take advantage of it." First time in my life I ever did that right there. You froze. I feel like I, I shook his hand though. He, it, I shook his hand. You, know, you he, shook his he, hand. He, but you know what I'm saying? He should. He thought about things he should have did though. After the fact, you know what I mean? For After sure. the fact, sure. I get it. I yes. get it. So I it, it, did it the other day at the barber shop. I it would be like if I meet met Prince. Baby was pulling up. Okay. When he jumped when he was out the car. I told my daughter, I said, "Man, stop the car, man." I jumped out. I went over and I hollered at him. No, he did it right. You did it right. You did it right. Because, right. 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 yeah. you know, yeah. niggas got to go with they move. Niggas got to quit shot, thinking baby. shit is just some groupy shit or some dick rides. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Man, you got to know, like, I, I ain't no mechanic. I ain't no doctor. I'm trying to be in this entertainment. Let me fuck with entertainers. No. Like, that's right. Let me stop yeah. playing. No, that's when real. I sell weed, I want to fuck with niggas that buy, buy weed. weed. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like, yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.